Hello everybody, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Fat Trading Partners along with Bob Iaccino. So Bitcoin finally getting above this 9478 level, holding nicely at the rotation zone, rotating up, coming up now trading just above our 9856 level. At that point, you have your still made next major area of about 10,200 to 10,234. I'm going to update these. Oh, we also got the question uh, with everything going on. Why aren't we talking about the halving, which is now expected to happen on May 11th? Because it's it's out there. We're just following the technical patterns. I'd rather just trade it technically than just speculate on what's going to happen when it has what's going to happen. Is it going to drop? Is it going to rally? You know, we waited. We based it sideways. It came up. And boy, by the way, when I talked about I if you can. This is a really good example. So in another video that was posted tonight, and I don't care if you don't trade stocks, you might want to just watch it, Virgin Galactic SPCE, because I talked a little bit about a retest, a breakout, and a retest, and this is a great example. So we have this candle bodies right here, this uh, 9180 level. You know, it was rejected there. We finally get to close above it right here. So this, and you'll understand why I'm bringing this up with Virgin Galactic, because I, I want to have a good example of it if this does happen in Virgin Galactic. So this is the kind of thing you're watching for. A breakout above the level, a retest, and then a rotation up. So whether it's cryptos or stocks, this is the kind of a breakout pattern that, that you love. You have break above it, especially with the key close. You want the key close. Come back, retest it, buyers step in again, and start propelling it higher. So... Again, if you miss the first close above it, uh, many times you can get even better entry on the next pullback and rotation back up. But that's the kind of patterns you are looking for. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, making a nice new recent high in RSI momentum coming in. So I don't know if this is the pausing bar yet. I'm moving everything up. We're at 99.70. If this isn't the pausing bar, you're going to have to move this to the pausing bar but to give you an example we're about 10,409 uh some of these levels i'm gonna pull off now if we get above 10,522 which was the last major swing high from way back a long time ago in a land far far away and for some reason my date is not refreshing back then but i can probably drop to daily let me drop to daily anyways after I look at one more thing. So right now, first level support we're watching is about 95.50. And then if we drop back down, I'd be watching this breakout level again. I'd go to about 9,300 with the rising rotation zone. Now let me switch to the daily chart. So here we go. So this was way back. We've had this retracement in place since February 13th. So once we exceed that levels, then we'll update our retracements. But until then... We're now watching a sort of wide cluster area and we'll fine tune it on the next pausing bar. But if we get above 10,409, then we're really the next major area we're watching is about 10,750 to 10,850. We need to fine tune that. Remember, we're still overbought, but I doubt we're going to have a major pullback before the halving, but we're going to follow the technical pattern. So, major support now on the daily. So, we have this candle body ledge about just above 9,000, so 9,050, 9,035, 9,050, first key level, and then the next major support level is all the way down to 10,300. Take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum's finally maybe starting to rally in sync with Bitcoin. We talked about two breakout levels, so we're finally above this first little breakout level, this first little consolidation phase. So key support now coming in at 210. Don't have enough separation on the rotation zone. So if we do pull back, watch 210. If we drop below 210, then I'm just going to be watching back to 203. Now, continued rally. Next area we're watching is about this 217.50, 218 area. Close above there. Nothing has really changed on those levels to the upside. We talked about them yesterday. If you need to review them, you can go back to that video. Here's the daily chart. So you see dip in the rotation zone yesterday, closing in the rotation zone, and now today rotating back up. So it's 
We'll trade it up. You see the candle bodies again with this 215 level. We've talked about it multiple times. Still can't get above that. If we get a clo daily close above 215, that will reinforce the Ethereum bullish case for the time being. But that's the major line in the sand on the daily chart. So we have for you on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.